Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. In today's Nick Research Review, I'm going to be going into the science, the physiology, the endocrinology of how weight loss or caloric deficit leads to a divergent result in sexual function and libido. So for some individuals, we see increases in libido and sexual function, and for other individuals, we see decreases in libido and sexual function. So I'm gonna jump into that science. So in a short, sweet, science-based piece of content, let's jump right into it. There is a dichotomy between the lean individual and overweight individual wanting to get leaner and the impact a nutritional energy deficit impacts their ability or want to have sex. How does nutritional energy deficit impact libido then? Well, it seems that if you are overweight or even normal weight, but want to drop some body fat for a slimmer version of yourself, an energy deficit can be beneficial for your libido, but also for sexual function as a whole as well. Surely some of this is caused by the psychological benefit of simply feeling better. But interestingly, for individuals that are already quite lean, there is some evidence that getting leaner can have the opposite result leading to a lack of libido and problems in sexual function. So what gives, which is it, and why? Both, actually. So the answer is directly and indirectly sex hormones, testosterone and estrogen. Yet it isn't that simple. First, we need to look into the hormone leptin, which decreases substantially when we drop body fat, but more specifically reacts to energy restriction. This drop in serum leptin leads to less bound to the hypothalamus of our brain, the thalamus releasing less gonadotropin hormone, which typically stimulates the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone, which in turn binds our sex-linked tissues and leads to the release of testosterone and estrogen. Clearly, however, as leptin levels are decreased, this entire endocrine cascade is also dampened, leading to drops in the sex hormones. Not only that, leptin has direct actions on the pituitary gland, and this binding is also decreased at lower blood concentrations of the hormone. Exacerbating the issue, cortisol can also be increased or even stay stable yet free cortisol that binds the pituitary and inhibits the action of gonadotropin stimulating hormone from the hypothalamus on the pituitary. But this would occur universally, so why the divergence in libido and sexual function? Likely because overweight or generally people who are not already lean have higher beginning leptin levels. So cutting leptin by a proportional amount still leaves more than in lean individuals that do not have as much to spare when in an energy deficit. Now, while this may all explain some of the mechanisms for why we experience decreases in our sex hormones, what does that affect in our body to cause symptoms like erectile dysfunction, vaginal dryness, and general lack of sexual interest. Well, there is evidence that not only do our sex hormones bind our sex organs, making them more active via greater vasodilation, blood flow, but they may also bind within our nervous system, leading to greater genetic expression of excitatory signals. Fascinatingly, our neurons also have the ability to synthesize sex hormones, but instead of necessarily secreting them, allowing them to act within the cell, called an intracrine action. So, overall, the process, just like many aspects of physiology, is complex, and this certainly is not all-encompassing, but no doubt it's an understanding of a series of major connections that lead to the modulation of our libido and sexual function. 
So guys, that is what I have for you in the dialogue. Hopefully you found it informative. Of course, if you'd like to check out my references, I have a ton of references for this particular piece of content. And you can check that out in the article, which is linked. And with that said, you can also check out the details, more details than what I mentioned in this particular piece. And I will leave it there. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Have a good one, guys. Bye.